hurting another and to another. For weeks, the stories you have heard about the correctional centers in Nigeria have no doubt left a sour taste on your tongue. But what this next report wants to show you is how inmates in Lagos are turning to music with the hope that when they get outside the walls, they will change lives with the next hit song. Let's show you the musical side of some popular custodial centers in Lagos. Music and prison are inexorably entwined from the classic sound of the captivity with some sort of drums hidden from our prying eyes. The inmates sing themselves to sleep. When the day dawns, some inmates take to the psychology room at the Ikoi custodial facility to listen to inspiring words and create music. What we do here in the psychology unit to them in the cell, you know, try to transform, you know, people with motivational classes every Mondays and Thursdays, we really, all that and you know all the cells right now and trust me it's been a very impactful program. Born in the ghetto, raised in the ghetto, but I sure am well out like Kus in the ghetto. So many niggas go to Kus in the ghetto until Kunko living my Bededo before I got in here. I was I used to be a photographer but uh, I had passion for music and I didn't really want to go for it. So when I leave this place I'll be you know going for my musical career so I've started developing myself in here. Ikoyi custodial facility is not the only facility with music talents. And for the actualization, there must be vision. When the uniforms are put away, the correctional facilities sometimes let the world into the cell to put smiles on the faces of those behind the walls and give hope to those who still dream of freedom and a chance at life again. It's been a long time that I've seen my home. Tell me how it's gonna be when I get to my home. No place like home, he let me. Madele. Their songs are a reflection of what they hear, feel, and hope to see one day. This is the maximum security custodial facility in Kirikiri. There are a number of hidden talents. There are over 18 of them, you know, in the music school, the music class is here. In, this is maximum. In medium, in the female facility, in the Kuwait facility, at Badagri facility. Look, entering into an over facility, it's, it, there are variegated programs to expose this in So they learn a lot, we we'll do a lot to transform them and correct them and reform them, you know, for post they start rehabilitation so that they can return back to society and become useful to themselves. Baba sure me leg back be O sure me leg back be for me The ambience within the walls tells you this singer has big dreams even though he has a life sentence on his warrant sheet incarcerated for almost a decade for manslaughter a crime he feels sorry for Elisha wants to be heard and spared for his crime he hopes he gets another chance to right the wrongs What brought me here you just do to my carelessness, and apart from to my carelessness, initially I helped someone. I helped someone, and that brought about my incarceration. And I was charged um, for manslaughter. That is controversial. I didn't actually, but um, the incident happened accidentally. We were five in number that involved in this case. But I personally, I helped, some, I helped a friend that brought me into this mess. And today, I, I'm deeply sorry even for finding myself here. I'm deeply sorry. Because that has really restricted me to some things. But as the Lord may have his way in, his, in my life, I believe whatever that happens to a man in life, God knows about it. It's a reunion of sorts for Elisha, as he meets his friends who were once inmates and his mother who forces a smile even though she knows in a couple of minutes she has to bid her only son farewell. It's been a long time that I've seen my home. 
Tell me how it's gonna be when I get to my home. No place like home. For Elisha, the Madila Kuna. Recording an album behind the walls is a privilege. It doesn't take for granted. Because for many years I've been in this confinement. I have written a lot of songs and uh, scripts. So I just feel I should put it in the record. And I, I walked up to the prison officials, the authority here, that is it possible for me to wax an album here. And I was told it's possible. At a point in time I was thinking, is this how Satan is going to truncate my destiny. But I don't give up. I don't give up easily because I know where I was coming from. And I came out with this inspiration, Madele. That thing just came to my mind. Madele. It's a prophetic word which I really believe that very soon by the grace of God that I will get to. I'm not, I'm, I can't say I'm an innocent. I'm not an innocent because there is no amount of excuses that can, that can save me. All I want is mercy, and I'm appealing to government uh, that please, I will never indulge myself in any form of um, criminal activities. Please, I'm begging the government, please have mercy upon me. The album Madele is a six track album that has Elisha Jonah reminiscing about friends wouldn't want to associate with him because he was a convict and the dream of living happier times outside the walls. Sarah Ayeku, TVC News, Lagos. I will tell